Oh, yeah, it's uh, 122. I've been trying to... Well, I did edited stuff yesterday, and then I did some stuff on uh, Star Trek. But, uh... It's not a thing today. It's a calf. If you guys watched yesterday's football video, uh, you'll find out... Uh, you're finding out what's happening now. Um, I ah, hurt my calf during practice, and I tried to walk it off, but my pain reliever started wearing off from this issue. So, yeah. So just to give you guys an idea, the assuage pro issues you guys have, so it's with my calf. You know, I have point my toe, pull all the way up. So I don't have functional problems with the calf. It's up here. Um, but as you guys can see, <clears throat> there's no problem with the knee. There's just a really bad owie ow right there. Like, it might be the soleus, it might, the thing is, is like, oh, it's just a cramp. Other people are like, hey, it's a cramp. And I'm like, oh, are you sure? I'm really limpy. Oh, just take some pain relievers. No, that's probably what caused it yesterday is because I was on so many pain relievers for the shoulder. And I have been trying to flush my system that I probably washed out all my, with excessive amounts of water like a gallon of water and I probably, yeah, it was like four liters plus coffee plus that. Yeah. Anyways, um, I would go to the gym and see if I could heat this. I do have the ice pack here that kind of works, but, but it's already gone through like two cycles of being on there and doing stuff. Um, I'm not sure what Aaron and I are doing for dinner. Um, I will record later tonight. Just letting you guys know that I'm not leaving the house today because I can barely get down the hallway. If this does not clear up very well, if this not, does not clear up well tonight, like it doesn't like, because I'm still within 24 hours of the injury, um, if it's not getting drastically better, I may call off going Sunday to practice, and that sucks, but it is <sighs> that weekend. I'm not sure if we'll even have practice on Sunday. I hope, but we said last night at practice that, or Marcus said that it will be decided in the app if there'll be practice. I muted that for eight hours because of a birthday celebration. Anyways, I should check right now. <sighs> okay, haven't decided anything. Just that the game against the Panthers has been rescheduled to March 6th. So expect March 7th to be a game day vlog. Um, I know that's way out in the future. I'm just letting you guys know that. Um, and then, yeah. So, thankfully this ice pack stays cold for a fair number of time, even though it's on my skin. If this is not better by this evening, I'll probably call out. But if anything, we said we'll have practice on Tuesday, even if it's, like, not good enough for Sunday. I don't know. I got meat. And so, if it is a cramp, if it is a slight muscle tear, Cheyenne says there's no tear, there's no injury. It's just a really bad cramp. I don't understand why it would be, I don't know what's wrong with this. But I'm limping really hardcore, and, um, yeah. Like, I want to have an image of it done right now. Um, but that would involve walking from here to the bus, to the hospital, and yeah. <sighs> I can barely get down my own hallway. So we'll see what's going on tonight. I'm going to keep icing it. I may put it up here, get some blood out of it, drain it, keep it just elevated from the heart.
My injuries happen because I do things. People at practice are like getting in. It feels so bad that I'm getting injured. Well, you're just injury prone. Maybe. A few moments later. All right, it's late. We're having pasta. Aaron's heating up garlic bread. It's only one slice, so we have to split it. We don't get a double thing. I'm walking and keeping it exercised because I was sitting down for like two hours doing No Man's Sky. At least in the bed, I could get up and walk to the bathroom, walk out here to get some food, but sitting out here playing for two hours can... Plus, it was in a kinked position. It was in the I'm sitting position, so... Yeah. It's... I've taken a paracetamol uh, just so that I can not be in achy pain the rest of the night. Uh, I did not have any pain relievers most the, the entire day because I didn't want to be fooled into thinking that I could go outside <laughs> or walk faster and do injuries that may have hurt. It's one of the things uh, Gabriel was telling me is that animals heal faster because they don't have pain relievers. And I'm like, I believe it, but they don't have jobs. <laughs> 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 he kind of points at me and goes, true, but I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I understand that we are animals and that we probably shouldn't, but we're, I'm watching Technology Connextras. It's a long video about his... <sighs> yeah, it's a, he took an Amtrak, tri Amtrak train ride, and he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's never really done a travel vlog, so he's probably barfing up information that I'd like to know, whereas there are actual travel train bloggers on YouTube and they're like, oh yeah, and here we go, and this is the craze, and this is the really great dinette. And I'm like, oh my god, you guys, you have ridden Amtrak more than I have and that's saying something. <laughs> but he's he's in a, he was in the bathroom when I started recording and then paused. Um, he, uh, he said, then I can now cross off my bucket list of taking a shower while on a moving train. I'm like, yeah, yeah done it because we were in a, a Spokane and it was kind of a summer day and so we didn't we had to get in early so that we can go to bed so that we could be somewhat tight somewhat awake so we could navigate from the hotel to the train station at midnight <laughs> you know at the ripe old age of like 10 years old 10 and 7 or 8 whenever this is summer so I was probably freshly turning 10 and Kathy would have been anyways um but yeah, we're getting a little story time about my childhood. Dad was a conductor on Amtrak, so um, he knew the manifest. And if we, if there was one of the larger bedrooms free for the entire trip, at least up to Spokane, he just sat us in there. As the conductor, he had that. He could sit in basically any room he wanted. Um, but as family members at the time, <laughs> you could get... Uh, free coach seats for family. You couldn't get into a sleeper, but by and large, nobody was really traveling in the deluxe sleepers, and there was probably one of the six, because it was like, or one of the five. You don't know Amtrak, do you? No. <laughs> no. So there's like the deluxe ones with like a long couch and a chair and then a bunk bed, um, but it also has a bathroom on the inside. That's why it's deluxe. And so, yeah. And uh, he and I've taken a shower because we went to bed early. I didn't shower at the hotel room, um, and so we woke up. I was probably hitting the stinky time of being a little boy, and Dad's like, "Take a shower when we're on the train." So I lay down because we're <clears throat> ten and seven, and not wanting to <laughs> trying to shovel through a train station at midnight thirty. <laughs> just to be on the train to get back to Portland. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, so like I woke up at like six in the morning when the sun rose and dad put me in the shower and we're like rolling, <laughs> rolling between Pasco and Wish Ram. <laughs> and I'm like trying to shower and this thing's like, cause it's a treat. 
He was even posted the fact that every morning in the center of the sleeper cars, they'll make a, a, a percolator pot. It was, uh, that thing was not, it's not a five, it was probably about two and a half gallon that thing looked like. I didn't see it. Oh, okay. It was, it was probably about as tall as, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's fun to watch what he's talking about. And so, Aaron's playing FTL. We each kind of have World of Warcraft in com we have World of Warcraft in common, um, but each of us has our games that we bounce around to. His on his computer, and me on the PlayStation and the computer, mostly the PlayStation. <laughs> the computer is like WoW, uh, Star Trek Online. Um, I was doing Har Heroes of the Storm for a while, but it just. I think I finally burned out of actually playing that, and I'll probably go back to it eventually. That was a weird angle. Almost fell there. <laughs> but walking around on this thing um, is helping. I did ice it. Again, I'm on pain pills, but it's a muscle. You rest it, and then you work it. You rest it, and then you work it. But you don't, like, go and do calf raises. <laughs> But walking around, and that's what Cheyenne said, and that's why at practice yesterday, I decided, you know what, I'm not going to be able to finish this. Um, I'm not going to be able to do practice, so I just, meh. <laughs> I just put on my jog pants. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It was really funny, because I was actually telling Ed, though, that um, I was going to start working on... Uh, get off speed. <laughs> like I'm talking with Ed after practice, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'll start working on get up, get off speed because the tracks are finished and they're actually open." If you guys saw the other when I was out riding the bike, um, I may need to figure out if there's a special shoe that I need for that because I don't want to use my cleats on it. Obviously, is it's a track, but I don't really want to use my hiking boots. <laughs> And the things I use for the gym are not here. Where are you at? Oh, there they are. They have like no grip on them because I walk around in the gym a lot and try to get my foot in position so they have actually no tread on them. So I may need other shoes. I could also go to the gym and just ask the guys there what kind of chip it is or what kind of shoes to get. Pew, pew. I actually sat down once and played and helped with him on one of these games to get all the way to the end. <sighs> it was, it, it was felt, in, I go, it felt intense. <laughs> and it helped because having a second um, pair of eyes and thought process could help do that. Oh, the balcony is quite cold. Yeah. The field lights are on. It's been really windy. We're at like BFT 5 and it's sprinkled a little bit out here. But yeah. Looks like all the fields except for the, well, the basketball courts don't actually have lights on them. But everything else is fully lit up. The track's not but that's fine. Um, you can see the beach grass maybe down there is... No, you're focusing? I don't know if you guys can see that. But, yeah. We've had like BFT5, which is definitively not fun biking weather. But, as my pain has not increased, but as my pain has not necessarily increased, um, it has gone down. It's just a really bad sprain, minor injury, whatever was happening. And uh, yeah, I will be better. I do not know how Sunday's gonna go for training. Um, it may be another one of those that I take off if, if we have training on Sunday because of the national team. But yeah. 
Dinner's here. He's gonna. I'm gonna finish this. And... Like finish the whole long map or just this um, combat? I can't remember how this game works in that fashion. Me either. Uh, I'm not sure which I'm gonna finish. Okay. Well, I'll turn on Connextras and relive times from pre 19. Did we go up there even when he was living in Vancouver? Pre-1993. I'll put a link below if you want to watch this.